assistant war manager Billy, Kelly Dad from Chris, who is Chris. How are you, sir? That's our documentary person. Uh, uh, Hi, how are you? Uh, later on in the day, we'll be uh, the signing as both the passion to you and we'll get a few projects. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you ate Irish food, Billy? I don't know. 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 Last time you brought to the ticket? Girls party, too. I had the uh, chicken club. It was a mozzarella uh, chicken breast with lettuce and tomato, and then on the side I had a poutine. My favorite. My turn. Uh, me, I had nothing. They never feed me these guys. I don't understand it. I have to protest this thing. This is, I don't know what's going on. I have to talk to George. I have to get George on tape. Somebody help. <laughs> He's not doing his share of work. Much, we don't feed him. Unless he help. Works. If you can hear me out there, help me, please. They're holding me hostage. It's not what it looks like over here. Does it work just bring me back? Here. No. You've you, you never met me. What? Time. probably do, uh, Bob, is uh, we're going to see if we can arrange with the uh, Brampton City Hall. Uh, how far are you from the Brampton City Hall, by the way? Okay. Well, if you could just tell me your name, um, the organization you're with, where you're from. Okay. My name is Michelle Falconio. I'm general manager of the Travel Lodge, Westmont Hospitality. Um, I'm from Windsor, Ontario, born and raised. Um, how did you hear about George and Chris and this event? I would heard, heard about it through a, uh, a colleague. They had sent emails around um, that he was touched by Christopher and what he was doing. And I as well was touched by it. And I wanted to be a part of it. And I wanted the Travel Lodge to do what we could to, to uh, to help Christopher and his uh, and his pledge. Do you do you are you um, do you support the issue of organ and tissue donation or? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Have you signed your donor card? I have actually. Wow. Okay. Yes, well, I do. Yes, I did. A little gift for you. It's a green ribbon to show you support. Organ and Thank tissue you. Donation. What would you say to someone who may be sitting on the fence for whatever reason? They don't, you know, they're not sure. Is there any words you would use to convince them? I, th I think the only thing I could I could say is that as is, is hard as it is at times to make that decision, um, I, I look at what it can do for a, a person that has been waiting for a, a transplant. Uh, it saves a life. Um, it definitely saves a life. 